everyone this is Rachel welcome to another digital art journaling tutorial today I'm going to show you how to color in your digi stamps for this example I'm going to use the digital stamps from the validation kit I have chosen two doodle flowers that I will use as examples so I've already gone ahead and added the doodle flowers to a background page so that you can see it better and I'm going to show you in four examples how to color in digi stamps so let's begin by coloring in using solid color so the first thing that I want to do is go to my color swatches and I'm going to choose focal tone colors. These are default colors that come with the version of Photoshop that you may be using. And they're great because they have a variation of tones and colors in the same family. I'm going to choose a hot pink color. Next I'm going to choose my magic wand selection tool and I'm just going to zoom in so you can see my screen a bit better and I'm just going to position that on the left so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to continue with my magic wand selection tool and I'm going to select the petals in the middle. And you can see the marching ants around my selection. Next I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color and OK. Now it's added that hot pink solid color and that's the basic um, technique for adding just blank color or just basic color. Next I'm going to reposition the page and I'm going to work on the second doodle flower and this time we're going to add color with shading and so I'm using my magic wand selection tool again and I'm selecting the petals on the inside and I'm going to go to layer new fill layer solid color click OK and there the hot pink color is laid down for us but now to add the shading I'm going to go to layer style blending options then I'm going to select inner glow I'm going to leave the default screen blend mode. I'm leaving the default opacity and noise. But I want to click on the color picker and make sure that it's white. I'm going to change the source to center. I'm going to change the size to 200 pixels. And there, that gives me a little bit of a glow. Then I'm going to select inner shadow, select linear burn. For now, I'm leaving the default and I'm changing the size to 75 pixels but then I'm gonna go back and change the opacity to 35 percent just to reduce the harshness of that dark uh, shadow and there you have it the difference between solid color and color with a little bit of shading so next with the bottom flower I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to use my magic wand tool and begin to select the petals and this time I'm going to go to layer new fill layer gradient and I'm just going to click OK and I have the hot pink gradient I want to move that so you can see what I'm doing but I want to change the gradient editor and I want to select foreground to background that's gonna allow me to choose two colors of my to make a gradient background and I'm going to choose the color picker and I'm not sure what color I want so I'm just gonna go to the yellow family and that's a bit too green I'm just going to keep picking at yellow colors until I find the right one there and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK to close the gradient editor and the next thing I want to do is change the angle to 180 degrees you can change the angle to whatever you want and click OK and that's it a gradient filled doodle flower Next I want to add some watercolor and I'm using this beautiful watercolor paper from Watercolor Whimsy Collection 
and I'm going to open it up into Photoshop. If your layer is locked, you just want to unlock it, then go to Edit, Define Pattern. And I'm just going to leave the default name, however you can change it, and then click OK. Now that I'm done adding my watercolor pattern, it's time to go back to my canvas. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. And again with the magic wand selection tool, I'm going to begin to select the petals in the flower. Next I'm going to go to Layer, New Fill Layer, and Pattern and just click OK. And now I'm going to choose the watercolor paper that I just added. And next I'm going to click OK. And there you have it. Four different ways to quickly color in your digital stamp images.